Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do word problems with inequalities. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write it easy and quick. Um, word problem that you guys are going to have to go ahead and translate it and I'll quickly go through with you guys on how to do it. Um, normally when it comes to this math, this would normally be around the, uh, around the Algebra 1 area, beginning off of Algebra. So I'm going ahead and type up a word problem. Six is less than 48. All right, twice the number increased by six is less than 48. What number satisfy this condition? Now, when we're doing word problems, we always are going to want to go ahead and create a variable. It needs to, we have to define it. Um, in most cases, I like to use x. It pretty much can be whatever you want. Uh, there is no define. It, right now in this problem, we're not given a variable that we're required to use. So, you can pretty much use whatever one you want. Simple, I'm just going to use x. It seems the best way for me. And x is going to be the number that satisfies the condition. And x is defined as this due to the number that satisfy this condition are the unknowns of the problem. So these, this is what we need to do. So I'm going ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and translate this for you guys. It's going to be twice. When you say twice a number, that's pretty much multiplication. It should easily pop in your head. And we always use parentheses when doing um, multiplication in algebra. Twice a number, increase, when we think of increase, we think of add, by 6 is less than 48. That is pretty much the word problem translated into a mathematical sentence. Now, it's pretty much simple from here on. It's simple solving equations, which you guys should be able to know. We're going to go ahead and multiply 2 by a 2 times x, and we would have 2x plus 6 is less than 48. Now, when I do my equations, I pretty much kind of use a system in which I make, I say it's the list. Um, Whatever is happening to the variable is going to be our list. So for this case, x is being multiplied by 2 and added by 6. So we're going to go ahead and type in times 2, comma, plus 6. If you look at it, x is being multiplied by 2 and added by 6. And we kind of just go in order as if it were to be like this. And we're pretty much going to use an arrow to go back to which one we are going to do. And you're going to, for this one, we're going to be subtracting 6 by both sides of the inequality symbol. So it would be minus 6 here. It would be neater if I just typed it. Minus 6 here. And minus 6 here. Easy math. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, retype it for you. Be 2x greater than 42. Next, since we have a multiplication here, we're going to go ahead and continue to move down on our list until we're at times 2. And when, when we're doing the list, we're always doing the opposite. I, I forgot to add that. Uh, we're doing the opposite of what is in our list. The list is just there to guide you through this, so it would be very hard to make a mistake. Um, go ahead and divide these by 2. It would be x is less than, now let's go ahead and do the math over here, 2 divided by 42, should be simple, 2 goes into 4 2 times, and that would give us 40, bring that into 2, 2 goes into 2 once, it would be 21. x is less than 21. So this means our variable is going to be 21. 21 is the number that satisfies the condition. And of course, we need to add our label at the end.
It's a bit little. Satisfies the condition. I'm just gonna go ahead and ram off this. Change it a different color so it's a little noticeable. And there you go. That is how you simply translate a, uh, a word problem into a compound inequality. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys like. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Talk to you later, guys.